Hi, I'm Leslie Richardson from the .NET team, and I'm gonna share with you five tips to improve your code navigation while debugging in Visual Studio. So let's check it out. If you don't wanna step through your code line by line, you can just hover over a line to access a little green glyph icon called Run to Click in order to fast forward your code's execution to that specific point. There may be times where you also just want to pass over a loop without having to go through all of its iterations. So you can just use force run to click by holding the shift key in order to fast forward through all of it. You can use the set to next statement feature to just drag and drop your execution pointer to whatever code line that you want to run next. Whether you just want to skip over some buggy code or you want to return to a line that was run previously to re-execute it or re-inspect it. Speaking of reinspection, if you just want to return to a previous code line without messing around with your code's execution, you can actually travel back in time to a line you previously stepped through by using the step back feature. This gives you the chance to see the state of your application and its variables at the time of that line's execution. So who says you need a DeLorean to go back in time? Last but certainly not least, when you're working with daisy chained or nested functions, sometimes it can be hard to know what's going to be stepped into first while debugging. So you can use the step into specific tool to actually choose from a dropdown what function you'd like to step into first. To learn more about these features and even more awesome debugging tips and tricks, go check out aka.ms slash bsdebugger. Happy coding!